So today we're going to be talking about the famous playwright, A Streetcar Named Desired. Um, that's not the book, actually. It's not. I keep wanting to say Desired. It's Desire. Night. What? <laughs> okay. I'll just restart. <laughs> The famous playwright, A Streetcar Named Desire. The theme we're going to talk about today is men versus masculinity. It's aggression towards the female gender in co-dominance with these traits. There is a general consensus of refinement manners and sensitivity towards the female gender. There's two distinct views of masculinity in this play. The view that masculinity is primitive and subhuman, meaning that we learned this from ancestors, the apes, and all the animals, how dominance over females is key in order to be successful in the animal kingdom. While the other view is these traits make men attractive and sexually appealing. So the main antagonist, Stanley, uses his controlling traits and sexual appeal to take control over Blanche and their relationship, causing sexual abuse to form. The main argument yeah. I am trying to prove is that masculinity is not defined by sexually appealing traits or character strength we're going to interview Rocco on his ideas Wait, why? of men you... versus masculinity Wait, really so obviously in today's society there's, there's a lot of controversy over what defines males and how males are grown up to believe that they need to be strong and not show their emotions. Um, what do you feel about this statement? And what do you have to say about I it? I think, like, I don't think it really matters. Because, like, everyone has, like, those low points in your life. And, like, like you're obviously going to get upset and you're going to show emotion. Especially the, the true friends. I don't think, like, uh, like, random people or random guys, for that matter, would just, like, show emotion in public areas I don't do think you think that it's okay for males to be um not independent some sometimes and like for them to be dependent on others or for them to be upset like what the definition of it is like more on like the topic um of do you think that it's okay for males to show emotion do you think this makes them less of a man if they show their emotion no because in the in the end of things, we're all human, and we all are male or female. We're all we're all gifted with the trait of emotion, and the only thing that determines if you're male or female is whatever body parts you so or so have, or whatever mindset if if you think you are or whatever. It should be made. The emotion revolves us about being a human being, just to say one person can hold it in and not express their emotions does doesn't make them a male and an amazing opportunity where we had to interview one of Steiner High School's number one basketball players on the varsity team what an honor it was to interview him on his beliefs of male rights as he Next, we are going to talk about my closing arguments as well as my beliefs on male rights. I think that today's society is quicker to judge a woman who gets unequal pay than to judge a man who is not allowed to express emotions. It's unfair for men to have to suffer through the same right inequalities that women feel that they also share. Women fight for the right to have equal pay, to have equal opportunities and equal benefits in this world, while the men sit back and endure the pain and suffering that they receive. But through reading the novel, A Streetcar Named Desired, I've realized two very important things. The idea 
that men are not treated equally is seen as the definition of a man in today's society. The idea that his physical features can define what a strong, independent man in our society is. But this is false. You cannot define a man based off of his physical features. Although his muscles are strong, is his mind also strengthful? Can you base a physical feature off of a characteristic of a human being? Also throughout the novel, the main idea is rape and sexual abuse. To be seen as powerful and controlling as men can be portrayed in today's world, Stanley beats his wife in this film and playwright. This shows his overarching power and control over his wife.